Hello everybody and welcome to your next DIY. This one is fun and exciting. We're talking jewels, we're talking gems, we're talking rocks, but not for your body. No, 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 because that would have nothing to do with interior design. That wouldn't, no, it wouldn't. We're talking about dressing up those boring dressers that you have and we're gonna do it all using polymer clay. Sounds like fun? Yes, it does. So we're gonna turn your old dresser that used to look like this and make it look like this. These are my jeweled knobs. They're my favorite, yes. And if you're not happy with those, then we could also make these blue rocks. And if that still doesn't tickle your fancy, then we could also make some pink ones. I call these my pink square rocks. And if you still say, meh, that's not for me, then we're also gonna make the marble knob. So let's start with my favorite one, the jewel knob, like I have on this dresser right here. And uh, here are the things that you're going to need to make it. Here's what you're gonna need for our jewel gems. You're going to need some parchment paper, some clay, whatever color clay you want, it doesn't matter, because we will be spray painting it with our spray paint. Anchor nuts with eight by 32 screw to fit into the anchor nut. So the first ones that we are going to attack are these beauties behind me, my favorites, the jewel gems, I like to call them, or whatever I called them before. You're going to need um, some clay, whatever color, like I said. So the first step is just to make it into a ball, if it goes into a ball. Sometimes you can get some harder clay or whatever. You can make it whatever size you want. I make it this size. The next step is you're going to take your anchor nut and your screw and you're going to go ahead and you're going to screw it in to about here then you're going to take your ball and you're going to insert it with the actual um, place where you can screw it sticking out and you're going to insert your anchor nut and then you're gonna make the ball again, whichever shape you wanna make it. I make them a little bit more um, long. Then, you're just gonna take this, just a regular old ball with a nut in it, and you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna stick it in the freezer for about 20 minutes. It'll make it easier to cut. So let's stick it in the freezer. Okay, so now that it's out of the freezer, you go ahead and cut it. There is no method to this madness. It's just you're gonna go ahead and cut it as such. I'm gonna show you with a close-up. So just making sharp edges all the way around. And voila, once you have this, you're gonna stick it in the oven at 275 for 50 minutes per quarter inch. So for me, a ball this size takes about an hour and a half. Moving on to the next phase of our project. Go we'll take a nap, wait an hour and a half for it to bake, let it cool off for about two hours, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna spray paint it. So watch this, watch me spray paint. Just gonna take off the screw so we don't get too much spray paint on it. and then we'll do the other side afterwards. For my rocky gems, you're going to need some parchment paper, you're going to need an X-Acto knife, aluminum foil, a paintbrush, one inch 832 screws, light blue clay, dark blue clay, white clay, spray paint or acrylic paint, nail polish, top coat, some quartz and some super glue. All right, so now we've got our stony rock gem things um, like I have behind me. Um, these ones are super fun because they're really simple to make and they make a big impact. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take a hunk of clay, of white clay, and you're gonna make a ball with it. Now, depending on how big you want your actual handle to be, um, that'll depend on how big of a ball you're making, I guess. So I'm making a ball about yay big. 
could actually freeze your clay for 20 minutes in the freezer to make the shredding a little bit easier. And by shredding, I mean, we're gonna make little tiny baby clumps of clay by shredding it. If your clay is too soft, you're gonna wanna put it in the freezer, as I said, because it'll be hard to make the little clumps. So here we go, I'm making some little clumps. After you've done the dark blue, or well you can start with the light blue if you'd like, I mean it's up to you. Then you're gonna go ahead and paste the light blue clay. Not, it's really, you're not using a lot. I mean, it's not a lot. And you're gonna make little chunks there too. You're gonna mix them all up all together with your light blue chunks. So here we go. All right, so now that you have your little clumps here, so now that we have our little clumps, um, you can go ahead and kind of dip your ball in it, like so. I don't have any method to my madness, once again, the whole point is that it looks kind of, um, I'm done. Then you're gonna take your ball and you're gonna roll it. And then you're gonna take your ball of aluminum foil, and you're gonna go ahead and where there's the most uh, blue parts, you're gonna just go ahead and squish it down. is we are creating um, some texture. So you're gonna go and do that until it's about the size that we want. And it's gonna look like this. Okay, and it's about this thickness. Now, once we have done that, all we have to do is stick it in the oven, bake it at 375 for 15 minutes per quarter inch. So that means that for this piece, it usually will take me about an hour and 15 minutes to bake it. While we are waiting to do that, we're gonna take our cork and we're just gonna go ahead. I mean, you could use um, your parchment paper. And we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna paint our screw as such. You could also leave it bare if you'd like. It's up to you, get creative, have some fun, you know. And if you want to leave it bare, it looks really cool bare as well. I'm going to go ahead and paint it gray because that's what I chose to do. I can choose to do what I want. It's my prerogative. So it's your prerogative, whatever you want to do. So we're going to go ahead and paint it and let that dry as we wait for our clay to bake. And voila, painted cork. Let that dry. Next step is to just make sure that you have the shape that you want. You can shape it how you want. I kind of made um, a lozenge. Lozenge, can I say that? Or a lozenge. So I kind of just squished the inside here, each four corners, and there you go. And you're gonna stick it in your oven and go ahead and bake that. Boom, it's out of the oven, it's nice and baked, like so. So now we're gonna actually attach our cork to the back of it using some glue. Try and center it. Just do whatever is according to the package directions. Wait for it to actually dry completely. In the meantime, what we're gonna do is we're gonna prepare ourselves with our silver paint and our gold paint that we'll be using to actually do a round. So, you're gonna wanna shake this very well. Shake this very, very well. After this has dried, obviously, is you're gonna wanna just put your spray paint on your parchment paper and work quickly so that the spray paint doesn't dry on you, because that would be really it. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're going to want to brush the top of our knob with the silver. And when I say brush, I mean brush it lightly. I actually kind of dot it more than anything. Then the next step is to take your spray paint. And that's when you're just gonna wanna do, I'll put your knob away, a nice dollop. And then we're just gonna cover the edges. Okay, so important is when you're covering the edges, just swipe up so that it's also doing a bit of the side, as you can see. So swipe up. 
Not swipe left, not swipe left, swipe up. It's a difference there. Gorgeous, just gorgeous. It's just missing one thing, and that's to give it a little extra shine. You're gonna use your clear nail polish, and once this dries, we're just gonna go ahead and coat it. So let's do that. Voila, you have done your gilded rock gem to perfection. And then last but not least, is you're gonna want to uh, put this in your drawer with using your one inch 832 screw. And you're just gonna be able to simply attach it like so. It didn't take long at all, it took about three hours. For the pink jeweled gem, you will need some super glue, whichever kind you'd like. You will need some one inch 832 screws, you will need the bolts that bolt into it, you'll need a ball of aluminum foil, some white clay, dark pink clay, and a lighter pink clay, whichever one you like, a brush, an exacto knife, some acrylic metallic paint or spray paint, and some clear nail polish. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to make a ball with your white clay. I'm going to go ahead and make a ball with it. You could use your exacto knife for this or you could use your nails. Um, you're just going to peel off little pieces of your pink clay and you're going to lay it down on your parchment paper. So little tiny chunks. So you can freeze it for about 20 minutes and it'll be easier to tear this apart. Or like I said, use an exacto knife. Mix them all together so they're nice and blended. Next step is to just take your ball and roll it all in there. And the next step is you're going to take your ball of aluminum foil and you're going to start to squish it down. We're going for about a half of an inch thick of a knob. So we're just going to squish it down. Now, if you don't like this look, you could also roll it once you've actually dabbed everything. We're going to roll it. And you've got the beginning of your knob. And the next thing is to just simply cut it using your exacto knife to the shape that you like. I'm choosing to do a rectangular shape, but you can cut it whatever shape you like. You can keep it as a circle. We're doing rectangular today. And voila, you have the beginning of our pink jeweled one. That's gonna sit right there, it's gonna sit tight because we've got something else to do with the remnants of our clay. This will be the actual um, holder. So it's actually gonna go like this. It'll be our holder. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna make kind of um, a cylinder, like so. And you're gonna take your screw, the one inch long screw, 832 wide, and you're just gonna make an indent at the end of it, because we will be super gluing it afterwards. So just the indent, and you see that little, chunk there we're gonna rip that off with an exacto knife so here's our indent so i'm gonna take that little chunk off with an exacto knife because it'll be easier to glue you'll have more uh, coverage with your your actual glue and that's it these are ready to go in the oven at 275 for 15 minutes per quarter inch so for me this is about an hour and that's it folks and just repeat depending on how many knobs you have now what we're gonna do once we have shaved off the ends is we're just gonna spray paint this little guy, our 
knob holder. And then we'll spray the other side. But while we have spray on our actual um, spraying vessel, we're gonna use that spray and that's what we're gonna use to actually color our knob. So you're gonna paint the edges, just like the blue one, going up. Making sure that you catch the edges so that it looks like it's been cut. Once you've done the edges, you're just gonna lightly brush, like we did with the blue stone, the top. So that you have little speckles of gold everywhere. Then we're just gonna wait for this little knob holder to dry, and then we'll be able to stick it on and finish this baby off, yeah. So once both pieces have dried, you're gonna take the end without the actual indentation in it and we're gonna go ahead and stick it at the back of our knob. Pretty simple, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I know, I try. So you're gonna let it stand for a bit, whatever your package directions say. And then we're also gonna take our actual screw, eight by 32 screw, and we're gonna add some glue in the middle here and stick it inside of our nice little nook that we created for it. Isn't that nice? It's kind of a little nook. The last step to give your pink jewel gem the extra, extra touch is to add your nail polish to give it some extra shine. You can also add it on the knob holder if you'd like. And voila, our beautiful, beautiful knob. Then you're just gonna go ahead and use your bolt to stick it into your drawer. And that's it, you're done. Okay, so for this one, it's super easy. All you're gonna start by doing is taking about um, yay much of white clay. Your white clay, you're gonna wanna use about 60% of, um, the gray clay about 30%, and the black clay about 10%. That's my ratio that I used. Now you're gonna make little snakes, like so. Place it here. Then I'm gonna take some gray clay a little bit less than what I did for my white clay. And then I'm gonna take my black. I'm gonna make a little baby snake because I don't like too much black in it. But if you want more black, then go ahead. It's your party, you can use more black if you want to. Then you're gonna take these three and you're just gonna roll them onto each other. And then you're gonna twist and you're going to create kind of um, all like this. Once you've twisted it, you're gonna fold it like this, twist it again. And then we're gonna make it into a ball and we're gonna start to see the marbling effect. If you want it to be more marbled, Then you're gonna take your roller, roll it out to about, I'd say about a quarter inch. And now you're going to put it on to your old handle, as so. Once you've flattened it out, just check out which side you like better. I personally like this side better. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay that flat. Take my old knob and basically press it on it. And then we're just gonna go ahead and press the clay around it, like so. And then to make it a bit skinnier, you're just gonna roll it into your fingers. But these are gonna be bigger than your regular knobs and your old knobs because you're adding a quarter inch of clay on top. And then when you get to the edges here at the back, all you're gonna do is just clip it off 
and then roll it again between your index fingers. If you're not completely even, then just go ahead and go on your parchment paper, roll it around. By the way, these are not gonna be perfect. They're not meant to be perfect. They're supposed to look a little bit at and made. That's the whole point. It's gonna look like this. Yeah, and then if you have something that looks like this at the back, then just go ahead and shave it off. Using your fingers, it doesn't matter. We won't see this part once it's in the actual drawer anyways. Like all the others, we're gonna bake it at 275 for 15 minutes per quarter inch. Now this takes about 45 minutes. It's the least long of them all, yay. And then all you have to do is add some nail polish to it once it's cooled off and you're done. Uh, and then once it's cooled, like mine is, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our clear nail polish, super simple, don't you love it? And you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna nail polish it. Now, if you don't wanna shine, then don't put on the nail polish. And voila, mon oeuvre d'art est terminée. You're just gonna go ahead and you're gonna use your old screws that you used for your old knobs, obviously, and you're gonna screw it in and it's gonna look like this. And that's it. I hope that you enjoyed making these knobs as much as I enjoyed showing you guys how to make them. And also, don't forget, Lauren K Design is back in business. Yeah, that deserves a dance, yes. That means that any renovations that you have planned, we can take care of from beginning to end to finishing touch, we've got you covered. Also, if you have big projects, small projects, media projects, it doesn't matter, we got you covered. Give us a call or check out our website at www.laurenjdesign.com for more information. And if you have any questions about this DIY, then you can give us a call or email us. We'll be glad to help. And this is Katya from Lauren K Design. Check it out. Have a great one, folks.